Yo guys, how you all doing today? It's me, Smarty Minter 75 Guys, I'm back for my video. What the fuck is going on at Hubs? So guys, as I said in the intro there, what the fuck is going on at Hubs? Before I start as well, by the way, I have to say hello from Covid Jail. Uh, second stint in COVID jail for me, unfortunately. Uh, tested positive for COVID this morning. So I've had a wee bit of time today to go away and reflect on last night's performance. And as I was in the process of doing that, it came out on Twitter today that I was fielded an ineligible player for the game against Morton last night. And since then, obviously, Morton have been rewarded a 3 0 win. We're papped out of the League Cup at the group stages. And we've now had a, a Zoom call with, with Ron Gordon. Uh, the fans, I know the, the podcast guys have had a, a Zoom call with, with Ron Gordon. Now, first things first, I'll talk about the game last night. The game last night was fucking dreadful. There's no other words that I can use to describe last night. We have not learned from last season's lessons whatsoever. The build-up play is slow. We are not nearly quick enough. The passing was absolutely shocking. The, there was flashes of individual brilliance last night. Ewan Henderson obviously getting his goal. Tavares came on and within the first minute showed a wee bit of skill. Uh, Bojang won mere headers in the first two minutes and what Christian Deutsch did the whole first half. You know, so there's there's glimpses there of what you know could be could be green shoots here I suppose but you know we just weren't good enough this is the second well actually the third part time team we've come up against in this cup competition no fourth beg your pardon and out of the four part time teams that we've played sorry I'm shite at maths by the way Bonnie Rig Falk up three I beg your pardon right out of all the fucking teams that we've played we've beat Clyde that's it. That's fucking shocking. We get beat off Falkirk. Fair enough, I could have walked away for that. I mean, Ken what? Falkirk just wanted it mere. We beat Bonnie Rigg. But it wasn't about we beat Bonnie Rigg in it. Like, you, you see the scoreline, it was 4-1. It was convincing. It wasn't convincing. It was nowhere near convincing. And then you turned up last night thinking, you know, we could put a wee performance in the night. It's a must-win game. Let's see where we go. And then that happens. We were absolutely shocking. I've no complaints for Martin getting their goal. Uh, I personally thought it was a soft penalty, but you know they they done what a good team would do. They came back, uh, they came into the game with a, with a game plan. They stuck to it. They got their rewards, in my opinion, and you know that was that's just the way of it. But the match last night, if anything, was just the tip of the iceberg and what I think has gone on just now at the club. Something is rotten at Hibs right now and I don't know what it is. I don't know whether or no I'm just being dramatic. I don't know whether or no, um, you know, I don't know, I, I don't know whether I'm being dramatic. I don't know if I'm maybe over overcomplicating things in my mind, but it just seems to be there's so much shit going on with the club right now. We obviously went through everything with the appointment of Lee Johnson. I know fans weren't happy about Lee Johnson getting put in charge. They wanted uh, John Dal Thomason. Now, I was for John Dal Thomason, I'm not going to lie. Lee Johnson got the job. Okay, I'll give him my full support. That is still my point of view. Lee Johnson, at this point in time, is, in my opinion, not to blame. Um, you know, we still have a lot of players for the last... For last season, that got two managers sacked. It's no Lee Johnson's fault. I'm going to put that out there right now. But to go on for how we did last night, I just didn't see where the, the positives are coming from. The fact that we've got St Johnston at the end of the month and then a derby, that, I'm not going to lie, terrifies me. And I've seen a lot of Hearts fans ribbing us right now, and rightly so. You know, we're rivals at the end of the day. Fans do that. But can I just say, it wasn't that long ago that Hearts were getting packed to the, the League Cup by Dunfermline at Tynecastle. 
and then it wasn't that long ago that Hearts, uh, Hearts were getting packed at the Scottish Cup by Brora Rangers. So, you know, it goes to show that both sides of the divide can have embarrassing results. I'm just saying. Um, you know, as far as I'm concerned, last night was the the straw that broke the camel's back with everything that's kind of going on at the club just now. How we can field an ineligible player is amateur. I'm sorry to say it, it's amateur. There is no even amateur football teams in Scotland that do that kind of stuff. Do you know what I mean? And we are apparently at the elite level and we have done something so stupid. Do you know what I mean? I'm sorry, it's embarrassing and we should rightly be embarrassed about this for the top to the bottom. Because my answer to that is, whose decision was that? Whose decision was it to put Rocky out in? Did nobody think to tell Lee Johnson that he was on a ban? Did they think that the ban didn't exist because we signed Rocky accidentally? Let's not fuck about with that as well. We signed Rocky accidentally. We thought he was away back to Norwich. Turns out, oh, wait a minute, we've signed him on a three-year deal. Nobody knew about that until it was too, until it was done. Now, again, that's fucking shoddy management, in my opinion, but that's shoddy management for high above. That wasn't a manager for a football team's decision. That was shoddy management for high above. That should not be happening. Should not be happening. You then go on to the, you know, this Zoom call with Ron Gordon tonight, and he's talking about how, how much people are hurting. Well, fucking rightly so, Ron. I'm sorry they should be hurting, because that's disgusting. What's happened to this football club in the last two days? Absolutely 110% disgusting. The way that the football club just now is being run, I'm really, really concerned for. Because I'm sorry, I don't think we'll get anywhere with his son being in charge of football, uh, in, in charge of head of recruitment. This guy's treating Hibernian Football Club like it's a game of football fucking manager. And yet at the end of the day, if I were, I'm not trying to be funny or anything. I said this in one of the group chats that I'm in today. You know, for all the, for all the guys, all the guys on the podcast and everything like that, and I know a few of the guys for the Hibs podcast and they're all fucking top, bo they're all top boys, by the way. Right? I have no issue with them going away and talking to the club and doing things with the club because at the end of the day, they're putting themselves out there. I've asked the club numerous times if I can get interviews with players, if I can get, you know, and involved with things like this. And for me, at the end of the day, the club didn't want anything to do with me. Now, is that because of the fact I'm not, in a lot of ways, and I'm not saying anything against the guys here, I'm not a happy clapper. I'm not just going to sit there and say everything's fucking hunky-dory. Am I going to sit there? I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell them at the end of the day what I'm telling you. The way we're being run now is an embarrassment. We are rightly opening ourselves up to ridicule. And we should be embarrassed about everything that's going on. But this is a problem. The club only want to deal with people like me because I will tell it how it is. Now, I'm not saying I'm not a negative. I'm no negative. Anybody who knows me knows that I'm no negative with Hibs. I'm not a happy clapper either. I'm in the middle. I'm real, right? If Hibs play fantastic football and they hump a team four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, no, whatever it is, I'll sit there and I'll see how good, how good the players were. If we get beat, like for example last night, if we get beat off a team at the end of the day that we have no right to get beat off, I will call everybody out for that. I'm, I'm real. I'm not a negative. I'm no negative. I'm not a happy clapper. I'm real. But this is a problem. I now kind of go away and speak to the club about this kind of stuff because they didn't want to hear from people like me. Because as I say, I will call people out for that. And I will say, if Ron Gordon was on the phone to me now, I'd be saying to him, Get somebody else in who's got mere experience when it comes to football recruitment and know your son. And you can, he can sit there and he can defend him all he wants. Three managers now have came in for this process. Two have been sacked. If Hibs keep going the way they're gone, and especially where the fans are concerned as well, Lee Johnson will get sacked as well. It's the way that it seems to be gone right now and I don't understand where it's coming from. I don't understand how at one point we had a really, really stable, sound football club to this. Is it individuals? Is it people at the end of the day losing touch with the football club again? As a fan, I have never felt so disjointed for the football club than what I currently do. And I've lived through the shit with Terry Butcher and Pat Fenland. I even lived through fucking Colin Calderwood. I'm too young to remember the likes of Alex Miller, but I remember how fucking dross the football was under him. Get what I mean? 
I've seen bad times at Hibs and I fear that I'm going to see worse times under them now. And this is what I'm fucking really upset about and I'm really annoyed about is the fact that nobody through the higher up seems to be calling this out. We seem to be going back to the bit where we're happy to accept mediocrity. And this is the problem. I'm not trying to be funny or anything like that. And I said this last, I said this last season in a video and I said it on a podcast as well that if, for example, in the semi-final last season of the Scottish Cup, if we, have, if we had beat Ray, uh, Hearts, I beg your pardon, in the Cup and in the league the week before, Everybody would have forgot about Sean Maloney. Sean Maloney would probably still be in charge because we beat Hearts. And I'm sorry, that's fucking sad. We can't go back to that. Right? At the end of the day, Sean Maloney lost his job because the football wasn't good enough and he didn't have the backing of the players. This group of players have cost two managers their job and then he sit there and buy into the whole thing that, oh, we know that we, we know that we let the manager down. Well, if you know you let the manager down, why the fuck did you know do your job beforehand? This is what annoys me. I know that the players can only do so much and the manager can only do so much and you hope that the rest balances itself out with luck and everything like that during the season. The players and the manager can only do so what they can do. I get that. But three managers have come under this current regime. Four if you include Hecky, by the way. And they all seem to be failing at the same things. Recruitment seems to be fucking a big deal that just does not go away for Hibernian Football Club just now. Recruitment, it seems to be the fucking big thing. And top of that, you're going back to fucking sitting there and saying, oh, the football isn't good. They're not like, see when I hear Hibs fans say we're playing the, we're not playing the Hibs way. What the fuck is the Hibs way? Playing good football but getting beat by fucking one or two goals with a lesser team. But we're playing good football so we're happy. The Hibs why accepting me to fuck you up, me to fuck Rockery again. What is the Hibs why? Ken what I mean? It's fucking stupid what we are going through now. And it's actually fucking vibing, it's, it's vibing with me the same way as it bit, probably did with Hearts fans when it was Ian Cathro that was in charge. Ken what I mean? This has fucking gone too far. What is going on? I don't get I don't understand how we can go. Again, you look at fucking the season where uh, it was a pandemic when we were all out. We finished third in the league that season. Two uh, uh, two semi-finals and a, and a cup final. Or no, whatever the fuck it was. But we finished third in the league. And the first thing everybody says was, Ah, it's good to finish third in the league, but that's because Hearts won the in the league. It's because Aberdeen had poor seasons. You weren't going to give us credit. Nobody gave anybody fucking any credit for that. And that was poor. To go to the last season and the next thing you know, we're finishing fucking eighth in the league. This season, fuck knows what's going to happen. I said that in a tweet last night. Relegation could be on the fucking cards, by the way. Make no mistake about it. Do I think this current Hibs team at the end of the year is good enough to fucking stay a, to, to stay in that league? I'm honest enough to say I don't fucking know. Do you know what I mean? Because I, I'm, I'm just seeing nothing that has changed between last season and this. Nothing has changed. And maybe that's just me being pessimistic yet again. Maybe I don't know. But something has to fucking change. Honestly, because I, I'm telling you now, we could be in for a long, long fucking road of a season and this could be really bumpy for us yet again. <sighs> anyway, I'm going to leave it there because my fucking voice is killing me right now. I'm going to leave it there, guys. If you've enjoyed my ramblings and my ragings, please, by all means, give the video a thumbs up. It helps me out when you do that. Subscribe to the channel, MoneyMinter75. Please, please, please follow me on all my on my social media outlets, I'll try and put the links to all them in the description, and we'll just see where we go from there, guys. But hopefully, I'll bring it. Hopefully, when we play St Johnston, we're going to have a better time yet. But we can only wait and see what happens, eh? But until that time, take care. <laughs>